folks. <clears throat> Omar Hosea, servant. And Father, thank you for this moment. Thank you for this thought. Thank you for the, the energy to ask this question on this video. We ask that you open up our minds and open up our hearts so we may get the gist of this, what's happening to us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I come into the public before we have to say thank you. Shalom. I call this one Satan and Women. Now, this is for us Torah people. This is for the people who, who read the Torah. This is for people who read the Quran. This is for people who are looking for a change in life. This is for those of us who are working hard not to be niggerish or niggerish. This is video is for people who want to learn something and want to bounce off ideas and, and look for a solution. For all you naysayers and, and backbiters, you might not you might not want this. For all you atheists and you don't believe in God, I mean not God, but in the most high, this is not for you. Let's just have a small dialogue, and I'm looking at the comments and stuff, and I'll read them off, but this is not going to be a long, drawn video. In Scripture, it says that Adam and Hawa, I forgot the, the original name for Adam's name, so we'll just keep it simple. It says that Adam and Eve was in the garden. Adam was with the Most High, and he was kicking it with the Most High. He was praying. He was... Uh, 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 getting his orders from the Most High. He named every Adam named everything on the planet. Now, for you so-called Christians and Hebrew Israelites and all that, y'all know the story. Adam named everything on the planet. There was no woman. So let's just stick to that script. He's out hanging out with his dad. He tells his dad, "Hey, pops, you know I need something like me. Can you hook me up?" You're like, sure, man. You know, you'd have named everything. I'd have made all this for you anyway. You man after me. Cool. So, so to, to keep Adam from experiencing something he never experienced him, he put him to rest. Boom, hit him with that sleep spell. Boom, he's out. And you know how we get after a good night of fun, whatever, we wake up. Oh, what's that? You can't believe what girl you done woke up with or what guy you done woke up with. Yeah, I done woke up to this nigga. Damn, I'm gonna hear him get out the window or something, right? Y'all get that? So when Adam wake up, he's like, whoa, what, where's, where this come from? Father, what's, what's this? He said, what's what you asked for, son? He said, what you gonna name it? He said, well, name it after me. She's the fresh of my fresh, bone of my bone. She don't like me. She's my equal. My, yeah, thank you. Boom, so they go off and he, Adam, or the man, for the sake of argument, we'll just say man and woman. Remember, man is the root. Woman is the prefix. Man, root, woe is the prefix. Look at the word prefix. The man is the root, but the woe was prefixed for the man. Woman. You get that? For you analytical scholars? Now. This man and this woman, this man has taken his woman throughout the whole Garden of Eden. They eat from the tree of knowledge, they eat from the tree of wisdom, the tree of life, the tree of uh, 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 thing, different, different, different things. I can't say because I wasn't there. But all of a sudden, out there she sees Adam, or man, we'll stick to man, after the woman sees her man go hang out with his maker, what you think she doing? Let's count the two seconds. One, two. Woman, when your man is at work, what are you doing? When your man is going out with other men to go pray, to make a lot, to make changes, what are you doing? Are you accusing him of being with another woman? Are you being tempted by another Issue inside your heart called an emotion. Or your vanity or your fresh selfish desires is like, what is he doing? He should be here with me, rubbing on my booty. Or he should be doing my nails. He should be doing this. He should. Is that you? Let's get to the, the, the root of the story. So Adam, I mean, man, he's out with his father who taught him all the things that he know that he taught her. Now, what she know? Now, one day... 
the man or woman is chilling on a vlog or something, and the father calls Adam and says, hey, man, come here, check this out, I got, I got something else to show you. He says, woman, I'll be right back. Chill out. Because remember, in the scriptures, the Christ called his mother woman. So we're going to do the same thing as Adam did. I mean, man did. Woman. We're going to dress you like that. Woman. So, woman, I'll be right back. So the woman, she's chilling, looking at anything, looking at what her man done, made, name, boom. But somebody else come in and tell her, check this out. Forget what your man said. How many women y'all do? How many y'all women do that? In your own mind, say, forget what that man said. I'm independent. How many women in your heart, when, when Satan comes and say, forget all that work that man is doing. Forget that the fact that he comes home at night. Forget the fact that he's out here working his tail off and being, and you, know, you should be happy that he made it home because he could, been, he could have been murdered by some unrighteous nigga, some police, or some jealous woman that's of you. You know what I mean? What's, what's that in your heart that tells you that because you can't control your man and he's not doing what you want him to do when you want him to do it? What if he was with his maker? What if, he, what if your man was really with, his, with the other men trying to build something while you at home doing this, looking at your fingernails? Come on, I need my nails done. I need my weave and... Is my, my lips okay? My eyebrows okay? Would you just sit at home? What are you doing? I'm only bringing up this video because the last video I did, this chick came up and told me, I'm telling her about the so-called black man experience, the black woman experience, the black community experience. And I'm up here responding to her for almost 10, 15 minutes in, the, in my video. And I thought, look back. So I'm saying, check out her nationality. She's not even a, a, a Hebrew, a Asiatic Hebrew is like Muslim. I'm a Hebrew, a Hebrew Muslim. She don't even know anything about the so-called black experience. Hell, she's not even, I don't even think she's living in, she don't even live in America. See what, the, see what Satan does to us brothers? And I'm saying to you brothers is this. We have to stay tight on our deen. Even though, no matter how much we love our daughters, no matter how much we love our sisters, no matter how much we love our mothers and our grandmothers, we got to stay on our dean because Satan, not S-A-T-A-N, Satan, say, and you get burned, you get tan, you get suntan. Satan will burn your hard work, brothers, whether you Hebrew, whatever you claim. We have to stop letting Satan use the woman, the prefix, to destroy the root of civilization. Let's go to the word male and female. There's a lot of species on this planet that's male and female. You don't see them killing each other off. You don't see the prefix fee killing off the male. Find it in nature. Other than that, that freaking, uh, what's that called? That the prey mantis. That's a freak of nature. Have sex with the man and kill it. Same thing with the spider. Have sex with the spider with the male and kill it. So that's why women has got the attribute of prey mantises and black widows. Because you kill the spirit and the good men that you have left around you. And then you complain about there's no good men and they get mad. When you say, well, the daddy ain't ever around. Well, how can you be around if you keep saying stuff that's tanning his soul? But back to the, back to, the, to this, this thing at, at hand. The point that I'm making is this, brothers. You can't keep letting say tan your soul and your hard work. All through history, it's been women was a downfall of many kingdoms. And believe it or not, Cleopatra wasn't even Egyptian. She was Greco-Roman. And she brought down Egypt. 
New history. Every king had failed because he went to a woman. Do the research. I've done the research many, 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 many years ago. That's what I'm confident about saying this. And this is why I get a chance to, when I hear a woman say some stuff that's against the spirit of the Most High that's in me, that's fighting against what I've named on this planet, I, when I say I, I mean as a man, and I speak for many men. Men are the root of civilization. Prefix, whoa. A prefix is not a root to a word. Did y'all you know say the word was God and the word was with God and, when the, and, the, and the word was God? So if the word man is the root, then it is not the word of God saying that the man is the root of your existence. Prefix, whoa. Man, and then try to get, and then, and then, and just what Satan did to our sisters, they tried, he tried, he tricked them and said, well, I am a womb man. Well, don't snakes and rabbits and the frogs got wombs too? What womb was you talking about? Or are you talking about the, 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 the beautiful of the woman, whoa, man? Or are you talking about the womb of the low self woman? The animal woman. See, because when you hear a woman say, oh, my womb. Well, just animals with wombs. But let's hear an uh, educated, not too much, too much, come Father. Let's hear a Christ nature sister describe her essence. She ain't going to say womb. She's going to talk about energy. Chakras. Things that are life-giving. Things that's going to uplift her man when he say, you know what, baby? I'd be glad to lay between your earth and things of that nature. And you'll see the shine and the glow on them when they walk down the street. I've seen I've seen drug addicts who were, who were in love, not causing the drug, but could they genuinely share each other's love, but they just so happen to use drugs. And you can just see the pure, natural love in their eyes. But when I see... People who ain't never used drugs, who are religious as hell, whether they're Islamic or Christian, when they walk down the street, all you see is wretchedness. Oh, look at me. Look at us. But me, when they get home, they tear each other apart. And they promote that. Brothers, be mindful, please, man. We have to stand up so we can show that we have a backbone. This is what women are looking for. This is what spiritual women are looking for. Men who's going to stand up and tell these sisters that, look, we're not going to take this manipulation of our souls and our hard work anymore. Ladies, sisters of all walks of life, you know, as well as we know, and the rest of everybody in the planet know, the so-called black man is an endangered species. And through the theory of human capital, they are working their way to destroy us through you first. Then they're going to destroy you. Then they're going to destroy your kids. So I'm asking you, black, so-called black woman, who wants respect and all those things that y'all say y'all deserve. Please know, you are feeding your future to the devil with your vanity and your ego and your emotional erratic state. Thus, it is pouring out onto the children who are becoming the same way like you when we get to adults. Because I was guilty like, like that before until I decided to flip my six to a nine. And I put the video out already. How to flip your six senses into the ninth ether. We got the mathematics, we got the study, we got the research, we got the videos. I got another video called Luminous Speech. Check it out. I have the formulas for y'all, but y'all won't look at it, y'all won't read it. And then when I try to explain it without going through the whole technological thing, because if I, have, if I give it to you the technological way, I'll lose you. So I have to give it to you the way like this. But until next time, we say peace, we love you. I didn't want to make it, but I had to. Oh, and last thing. Sisters, what is this that when you're in a relationship with a man, 
and you talk about you want a break, but you kick the man out, out but you want to put the man out the house. But if the man they ain't got nowhere to go, you'll get mad if he go live with another woman. But you want to need the break though. So you rather see the man out in the rain, out in the hot sun, out in the cold, crawling on his hands and knees, begging for food. He may have lost his job. He had to give up his dog. He had to lose his clothes. He had to lose all his hard work because you woke up one day and say, I need a break. But then when another woman see him out on the streets and she's been watching him for so long, you get mad because a good woman decided that out of friendship and kindness, that, hey, bro, come on in. I know you're cool. Come on in. Rest your feet. Rest your back. Give you a place to chill out. Not about having sex, not about getting high, not about taking and robbing and all that black thought. This is why I don't like black people. Because you think like that. This nigger stuff, you think like that. Just because a guy's out on the streets and a sister pick him up, you think that they automatically will pull to have sex, suck, suck and face and all that. And vice versa, just because a man pick a woman up off the streets because he see she's doing bad and he has compassion for her because that's his sister, that they got to be having sex and, and all this crazy stuff. Brothers, we cannot bend. We have to stand up. We have to rise above the Satan that these women have put in our ears. I know the booty is good. I know the sex is good. I know the, I know the lips is sexy. And I, I, I know that. I'm a man like you. I get loins like you. But you cannot let that control the root of civilization, brothers. If you fall to these material things, these outside things that has no bearing on the spiritual oneness of the universe, brothers, we are responsible for the demise of our nation, including me. All right? If I don't tell you this, I'm guilty. Sisters, if I don't say to share this video, I'm guilty. If I don't do any videos to tell you about my experiences and what I'm going through because I know somebody else is going through it, I'm guilty. I am part of the problem. And if you're not going to tell or share your experiences, then you're part of the problem too. Where is it where is it where you can't tell on yourself, but you expect for somebody to tell on, on themselves? Well, then you didn't tell the truth, band up. Okay, then start with you. We'll wait. See, because when folks told me, Jose, you need to man my, my old at the time, Omar. Omar, you need to man up. You need to be responsible. Da, da, da. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm manning up. I'm being responsible. I change. I'm doing the change. I'm living the change. And I'm posting videos. So when you see me out in the streets or out in public, whatever, you'll see whether I change or not. So, don't tell nobody else to change if you haven't looked in the mirror and had a desire to change yourself. And be willing to be corrected in the midst of your change. And screw that, only God can judge me from Tupac. Because none of y'all heard that crap until Tupac said that dumbass crap. Only God can judge me. You know why I only say, you know why you say your God can judge, judge you? Because you know that God, wherever this God is, ain't going to come right now and knock your head off. Like your mother or your father will. Or one of these real men out in the streets will knock your head off because you didn't say they did something stupid. That's why you say only God can judge me. The Most High has allowed us to judge each other in righteousness. So till next time, Israel, Ishmael, I love you. To all our supporters, we say thank you. And to our non-supporters, just keep watching and taking notes. Eventually you'll get it. Peace.